Hey everyone, good afternoon. My name is Diana and I am what you would call a beauty influencer. Supposedly that is what they call us. And I um, participate with a company called Pharmacy, Pharmacy USA. They have pharmacy in Mexico, pharmacy in Canada um, and pharmacy, which is the original name in Turkey. And it's spelled F as in Frank, A-R-M as in Mary, A-S-I. And I just wanted to take a few minutes just to share with you some things, okay? So this is not gonna be one of those dragging hour and a half videos. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it simple. And one of the things I wanna do today is just to show you how to put your makeup on in 15 minutes, right? Uh, unfortunately, I am not the high profile makeup artist. I don't do makeup in 45 minutes and really go above and beyond the call of duty and magnify and highlight all these best areas to make me look like something that I'm not. That's not what I do. I don't have time for that. I admire those people that do have time for it. I don't have the time for it. On occasion, I think one can do it. It's a good thing. You know, you like to challenge yourself. But for the everyday working mom or wife or person that just doesn't have time to invest in it or even know how, um, the most important thing you can do is just learn how to do your makeup simply, okay? And just give yourself that simple look if that's all you have time for and if that's what you want. So I'm going to do that. We'll start out with that and then we'll go on to the website and I'll help you navigate the website just a little bit so you can familiarize yourself with the website and learn how to place an order. Then I'm gonna show you two products that we have, two specials for this month, and it's ending October 31st, okay? So we have until Sunday at midnight to place these orders. Um, and pharmacy is not exclusively for women, okay? It is for men as well. They have men's products, men's skincare products, okay? They have home products, they have products for children. Okay, and what do I like about pharmacy? I like it because it's not um, a company that is only exclusive to themselves. Okay, this is a company and they have products that they're very conscious, eco-conscious about. So there's a lot of makeups we use, especially as women or even a lot of cleansers we use that just have so many artificial ingredients that they do more harm than good. And with these products, I, I can say that almost all of those ingredients are not found, okay? And we give you a list of the ingredients that are found, right? And another platform that we use in pharmacy is health. So we're venturing into that and we've got um, two great products for health and we're gonna go into those details and I'll show you what that is. But let's get started with this little slight unprofessional makeup tutorial, okay? And so this is what I look like when I wake up in the morning. Yes, this is what I look like, okay? And um, I sometimes I'm not in the mood to wear any makeup. And sometimes I just, I feel like, well, with the pandemic, if you're wearing a mask, then what's the point of wearing makeup? So, um, you know, I, I don't waste my time with it as much anymore. But when I really wanna put some makeup on, I do. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think every woman should be able to do that. Um, and it helps to increase, you know, the self-esteem to a certain point, you know, because if you can admire the work you can do from home, physically on your face, you know, um, and to your body as well, then that gives you a lot more confidence. Okay, that's my opinion. So let's just begin very quickly and we'll try to get this done in 15 minutes. If I could do it in less, then great. Maybe I'm over by four or five minutes, then just be patient with me. Um, so pharmacy, again, has a, a, an array of, of, of makeup, different types of makeup for what everyone is looking for. Some people are more eco-conscious, so they have certain makeups that are based on that. Other people are just listening. You just have a limited amount of ingredients. It's great. It works for me. They have a variety of things, okay, that you can look at and look forward to. So how I begin is I put a primer, okay, by VFX Pro, okay, and it's a simple, simple liquid. That's it. It's kind of like a, an oil gel. That's what it looks like. 
and you put it on your face, nothing special, okay? Nothing special. You're just gonna put it on. It's very lightweight, very light. So sometimes you're not even sure of you know what you're using. And you also want to get it on your eyebrows. I'm sorry, not the eyebrows, on the eyelid itself on top. And you want to make sure that you cover that whole entire area. They do have primer for the eyes, for eye makeup. If you prefer that, then you can go on ahead with that. That's fine. But it's not something I feel the need to use. So I just use the primer as the way I need to on my eyes. Okay. Make sure. Okay, good. So my next step after that is I use my concealer. And pharmacy has a variety of concealers. Okay. They have different kinds. They have the liquid. Um, and then they have um, the stick concealer. Some people prefer that. Some people prefer the liquid. Okay. Um, I kind of like the liquid. Does it give me a 150% coverage where I have no type of line on my eyes? No, there's gonna be a little bit of lining. Again, um, unless you're a professional makeup artist and really, really work in depthly to cover sometimes those dark circles, you're always gonna be able to see a little bit of it. That's just logical, all right? And that doesn't bother me because again, I'm trying to look as natural as possible. Um, and I don't want anyone to presume that I look so perfect that, you know, when they see me without my makeup, it's like, oh, that's what she looks like, okay. So, you know, this is something that I put very little of. If you have very deep, dark circles, then you may have to go into two shades. Um, sometimes that's the best way to do it. I've seen them do it that way. They'll take a darker shade and then a lighter one um, and blend it in to really give you that coverage that you need. And I don't use my fingers. I learned not to use my fingers. I learned that by um, working with a professional makeup artist. And she says, no, you don't use your fingers and you don't use the dab and ball either. And I questioned, I said, why? She says, because it takes up too much makeup on the dabbing ball. And I call it dabbing ball, it's like this big. Um, she says it consumes a lot of makeup. So you're always better off using a brush. She's made it very clear that that's the best way to do it. Um, so I've been following the technique. It feels weird at first when you use a brush, especially if you're used to using the sponge, you know, but it seems to work. Um, if you get the right brush, they have different brushes for different needs. They're different sizes. Okay. So each brush serves a purpose. If it has a different head angle, there's a reason for that. Um, so, you know, always look at the brushes, always ask what they're for, okay? And the pharmacy has a selection of brushes. This brush I'm using is by pharmacy, okay? And they tell you what the brushes are for as well. All right, so do that. And sometimes I put a little bit um, around my nose or right here, I have like a little mark, which is going away little by little but everything else is birthmarks. And so sometimes I even cover it up depending. And um, I like the way it looks. I don't like the way it looks, you know, it all depends. And I just tap it lightly. I'm just gonna blot it and blend it in. Does it have to be perfect, okay? The time now is 1231. We started at 1228. So let's see. We can get this going. We can make it in time. Very simple. Okay. And then I'm going to take what we call the VFX Camera Ready Foundation. You don't have to use foundation if you don't like foundation. If you prefer the powder, you can use the powder. Pharmacy has a mineral powder. And I use it also. The VFX foundation really, really preps your skin, you know, as they say, for what would be for a photo session or for that really good look. Or if you just, you know, want to look your best without having to use too much, then this is the way to go with this type of foundation. 
Okay, so I'm going to use it. It works well, it gives you a good look. The powder gives you more of a natural look if that's what you're looking for. Okay, um, and so I take a little bit, and the number I use is number two because I'm, I, uh, I'm fair skin, but I'm not pale. All right, so that is what I use. I use a number two, and uh, I just take a little. And it has to be even. That's another thing that I learned that when you're going to dab it all over, in other words, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So you just can't put it on one side and spread it around. That doesn't work like that. You have to be able to make it even. So that's what we're doing here quickly. And I have a sample pack. This is what I'm using, just a sample, okay, by BFX. Okay, and if you want a sample, that's the best way to go. If you're not sure what color you want, go for the sample, the sample's good. Okay, and again, I'm gonna take the same brush and just bring it around. That's all I'm doing. Now, don't mind the screen. You're gonna see that the screen may even look a little bit funny, but that's because I have a filter and I, I couldn't figure out how to um, undo what I did on the computer, don't ask, but this is what I do sometimes. So we're gonna spread it around again. Okay. What's gonna happen is, you're gonna see how it's gonna just start blending in. And what I like about the shades that Pharmacy has is there's literally a shade for every skin color because you know, at the end of the day, we all have a different type of pigmentation, okay? And so I could have someone that looks like me that may have a very similar color to me, but they may have more redness in their skin, or they may have a more golden color than I. Does it mean they're the same color as me? No. So you got to find the right pigmentation, and pharmacy does have that available for the VFX Pro. So that's what I like. And again, for those that are makeup experts and you're looking at this, you're going, oh my God, what is she doing? She, I'm sure you guys are cringing, but again, I'm not a makeup expert. So this is not what I do for a living. I take you know bits and pieces of what I've learned over the course of the years and maybe lessons I may have taken off shoot, you know, off shoot lessons. Um, I'm doing the best I can. And I know a lot of artists, I see how they also put the foundation, you know, around their eyes as well. I don't do that. I think it makes sense to a certain point to do it, but I also don't want to put too much of that on my eyes. Because imagine if you're going to use eyeshadow, you're going to use other things. So, you know, I'm careful with that. And if you have eye allergies, you don't want to put too much around the eyes, okay? But you do want to make sure you get all the areas. And a very important area is bordering the neck area. Why do we do that? So it can match with your face. Okay. So you take just a little. You don't have to do a lot. You just want to blend it in. Some people go all the way down. That's not my cup of tea. If I have to go all the way down, that's a problem. But that's my opinion. Um, so... This is where we're at right now, 12.36. Okay, so, so far it's blending really, really good. Okay, it really is blending really well. Okay, so I'm done with that portion of the face. Okay, I'm done with it. And then one of the other things that I like to do is Bear with me one minute. So I was taught, right, by a makeup artist that once you do that, you're gonna wanna get all your drying material on first and you leave your eyes for last. This is what I was taught, everyone does it differently, okay? But one of the things that you always wanna do first is I guess your dry portion of the makeup. This is what they're expecting you to do first. But everyone makes it differently. Everyone cooks differently. So I take a, a big 
brush, as you see. Okay. And I'm using this by pharmacy. Okay. And I'm told that you don't sink your cheeks out like most people do, right? You kind of give that suction look. I'm told you're not supposed to do that. I'm told you're supposed to smile when you put your blush on. That way it can be even. I don't know, but this is what they say. So let's go for it. Okay, so just a little, as you can see, it's a, just a little bit of pigmentation there. And that's what I like. I don't want too much. I'm not in the mood for too much pigmentation. Okay, so I got that out of the way. Okay, another thing I'm told, and I was told by someone who does makeup, is you have to put your translucent powder on first. Okay, so what that means is, you know, it kind of fixes, so to speak whatever it is that you've put on your face so far. If you put too much and it just looks a shade darker, lightens it up just a little bit. Otherwise, and that's kind of like a pump up primer in my opinion, okay? So I've got my translucent powder, okay? It's a clear through powder, okay? Then I've got my brush right there. And so it's kind of hard to see with this filter, but the powder is very white. It's a white powder. That's what it is. And you just you know, put it on your face very lightly, you never want to put too much. And that's it, it's nothing major, you're not looking to alter anything, okay? You're only looking to add a little bit of that translucent powder and as it's called, it's translucent. It's not meant to, you know, really be seen on your skin. So it's just meant to do the job. So the next step for me is the eyes. So what are we going to do with the eyes? That's a little tricky. So I've got this set here by pharmacy, right? It's a pharmacy gift set. And it's the Halloween gift set, okay? So it's called the Haunting Beauty. And no, I'm not, you know, promoting Halloween. Um, but this is just a set for the month of October that pharmacy decided to initiate. It's this cute little box. And I thought the lipstick was really, really nice. I really like it. Um, and I thought it was a really great color. And it also comes with a lip gloss, okay? And it comes with an eyeshadow palette, as you can see, okay? So that's what it looks like. So the lipstick, the matte lipstick, okay, is that deep red color that you see, okay? And the lip gloss is almost that silver tone that's there, comes out clear. So don't get scared, it's not gonna come out silver. But um, it also comes with that eyeshadow palette. So that's what we're gonna use for the lipstick. I'm gonna play with it a little and check it out. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna go for the eyeshadow. So how does the eyeshadow work? Well, that all depends on how you want it to work. Pharmacy has this liquid eyeshadow and I think it's great, okay? So as you see right there, it's liquid. And it goes on so smooth and so nice. I've got a white one, okay? And I've got this copper color. That's really nice. Then I've got like this pearl color, this cream pearl color. It makes it a little bit hard to see. I understand that, so I apologize. But it is a cream color. You'll be able to see it on my eyes once I put it on. So we're gonna decide which one we're gonna touch. Decide on that one. And then I'm gonna decide. Um, with the palette itself, if that's what I want to do. So let's take out our lipstick and lip gloss. Okay. So again, I've got like maybe another eight minutes. I'm going to give myself another eight minutes, and that's it. Okay. Because I really want to get this going. Yeah. And these are colors that will match beautifully with the lipstick. We'll see. Let me play with it. Okay. So the first things first is I'm gonna be putting on just a little bit of eyeliner, okay? Very little. And it all depends what color you like to use. I like to use black, 
Okay, sometimes I'll use blue. Uh, and it really, really works well for me. I like, I don't like to put too much eyeliner. I never do, okay? I never like to put too much, but I put enough just so that way it's noticeable. Some people put it on the lid itself, which you can do. And I was taught that you do not pull the lid all the way down like most people do, right? You roll it over, but that can be hard sometimes to do. Sometimes that's a little bit tricky if you're accustomed to pulling it down. But they say not to do that, right? Because what happens is, is that you're actually causing the skin to pull too far and that's not what you want. So we're gonna do this very, very gently. And again, I don't use too much because I have um, eye allergies. So I don't put too much in the lid. Some people put it outside underneath the lash. You could do that. There's nothing wrong with doing it. You can put it underneath, okay? So I'm gonna do it now again. This side. And men do not try this at home, this thing is. I admire those girls that can really, really put their eyeliner to work for them. I just can't do it, it's not my thing. And what I do is I just add a little bit of an edge to here. Just a little. Okay. Nothing special. Okay. So it's not perfect, it is what it is, but there, I have it in the box, all right? And I don't want to do too much, but let me scout this back there. And so sometimes you'll have one edge that may be slightly thicker than the other. It can happen. It's not a big deal. I'm going not to work. Okay. You really got to be really, really, really the kind of person that can notice something like that. Sometimes people can, sometimes people can't. It's not a big issue. Okay. So my next step for me is going to be using my cream color. My cream color eyeshadow. I'm curious, I wanna use it. I know I should use something more like a, a purple color, right? To go with the lipstick I'm wearing. I'm not big on purple, let's see. All right, so I'm probably doing this wrong according to most people. But again, this is easy for me to do. Keep online as you can see, okay? The goal is not to put too much, the goal is to put just enough. Okay. And that's what you want, just to put enough. And then we move on to the top portion. So that's my clean color. And I like it because it's really smooth. Okay. It's really, really smooth. You don't have to struggle with it, you know, but it is a very, very smooth color. And I start from the middle, and then I work my way up. Now, as you can see and notice, I am not left-handed. So the left side always gives me a major problem. Okay, so far so good, it seems pretty even, it's not bad. All right, 
So we got our cream out of the way. <clears throat> now I've got the choice and the option, right? Now that I have that cream color there, it almost looks golden, it looks really nice, okay? To use a purple color if I want, or to use a copper. I think in this case, because of the kind of lipstick we're gonna be using, I'm gonna to try to implement that, that purple color. I don't have it in liquid, even though it exists, okay? I have it in the palette that you see here. So you're gonna see the palette right there. I'm hoping, I think that mirror always gets in the way. But you can see that purple color that's there, okay? So that's what you wanna look at. <clears throat> I don't want to do too much. I'm not a fan of doing too much of dark colors because you really got to know how to manage it. And I don't know how to manage that. That's the truth. So let's do this here. Okay, and I've got my brush. As you can see, it's, it's a bit bigger because it blends a little bit better. The whole job is to blend it in. And I'm told your darker colors always go on top, okay? So that's why I'm up and look for this one. Okay. I'll just find it very quickly. We're almost done actually. And it's light, it's actually not that intense, which is good. I kind of like that. So I just want to do like a little hue. That's it. There we go. Okay. Nothing major. There we go. Okay. Now comes the left side. That's the hand on the left side. I'm going to have it. Okay. Okay. Again, don't get scared, okay? I'm not a professional makeup artist. I admire those women that really know how to do this. And dark colors are not my favorite. I don't know how to blend it in. Okay. The more. Okay, all right, good. See, it's not, it's not too bad. Passed and did it somehow. Okay, great. All right, so now what's the finishing touch? The finishing touch, we have two more steps and we're done. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just gel my eyebrows. These are my eyebrows. I don't have thick eyebrows. Um, I have very thin eyebrows. Okay, so I'm fortunate in that area. Other people are not. So this is just a clear gel. And I never used to use this before, but someone had taught me. Okay, and you're just going to give it one big swoop. Nothing major. And you take your brush. You see your brush right there? And you're going to brush it up all the way up. Now, apparently, this seems to be a new style that's trending where I'm seeing eyebrows going up and... This seems to be the latest innovative thing for eyebrows. Listen, I don't do the latest sometimes and I'm okay with that. So all I wanna do is make the eyebrows symmetrical and just give them a little bit of, of shape. That's all I'm doing, okay? So again, and this gel lasts you a long time. This is by Pharmacy, of course, okay? So it's brow design, eyebrow mascara, but it's clear. There's no color to it, okay? And it lasts a long time. For me, it does at least, because I, you know, again, I don't put this on every single day. I think if, if you do it every single day, then yeah, you're probably gonna run out a lot quicker. But for me, the goal here is just to make it even. No color on it. This is clear. Okay. So we're done with that step. Okay. Now, what is my next step? Hmm. Now, my next step is going to be my mascara. All right. 
Almost there. I know I passed the 15 minute mark. So just give me another three and a half minutes. We're almost there. So my mascara, I use the green vegan mascara, okay, by pharmacy. So this is what it looks like. Okay, maybe a little hard for you to see, but this is how it looks. All right. So it's the green vegan mascara. They have multiple kinds. They have different kinds. You don't have to use this one. I just like it because I don't use a lot of mascara. It works. It's fine. And I don't put a lot on. So you take a little. I don't want to have eyelashes like RuPaul. I'm not looking for that. Okay. On some people, it looks great. On me, God help me, it would never look great. But I want some sort of leverage, right? And the best way that you can also grow your eyelashes in, it's a little trick. It's called castor oil. And it helps. Put it on before bed. Take a Q-tip and put it on before bed. I don't have excessively long lashes, but I don't lack them either. Um, I have a, a decent amount of lashes, so I don't always have to use mascara, thankfully. But it helps. I'm gonna add just a little body to it. And again, it's just a little. I'm not looking to look like RuPaul. Ooh. Those are some nice lashes, but I, I can't have that. Okay, so that's done. The next step for me is now, okay, going to be the lips. So I'm gonna try this color. Oh boy, I mean, it does look very dangerous, but this is a nice matte, okay, by VFX as well. Okay, this comes in the kit I just showed you, the Pharmacy Haunting Kit. Okay, it's a pretty matte color. So let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see how it works. So. Oh. Indeed. Now, I can see hmm. it's nice, but You definitely need a liner with this one. And why do I say that? I'm very bad with just lining my lips just like that. I have to have a liner. That's like my marker for me. That's what I use, the liner. Okay, so as you can see, it's you know a little bit iffy, but it is a great color. You want to draw attention to yourself. It's the color to go and to use. So my lining is not perfect for some reason. Um, it's the first time I'm using this one. My other brushes are already so used up that they already have a shape for the line that I need. This is a little bit different, but it, it does make a, a, a great little horror flick, the dark, dark color, okay? Um, so that's something that is good. Mm, not perfect, but you know, again, I'm used to dealing with a liner. So I put my liner first to match my color. In this instance, I don't have that. That's what I use as a guide. But if you've got great steady hands, you'll do good with it. It's, it's not an issue. You really will do good with it. Okay. So 
we've got this on. It looks great. Okay. We kind of went over. So I would dare to say we started it at 1231. Was it 1228? Yeah. So we went over by like 22 minutes. Sorry about that. Should have been 15. But in any case, it's not bad. We have one more step. Okay. And the next step is your makeup fixer. So what is that? It locks in the makeup. Okay. This is what this spray does. It locks it in. Okay, so you put a mist on, it keeps it on all day. It sets the makeup and that's what you want, especially in the summertime, it gets really hot and you start feeling icky and stuff like that. I and mean, you don't want that. So let's do that. That's it, okay? We're all done here with this makeup. So we're done with this. And I hope you love the imperfection of the lips, okay? So we finished using our makeup. I'm going to put this back. I'm done with that. So. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the site quickly, okay? I'm going to show you how to navigate the site, okay? So this set that you see here, the Haunting Beauty Pharmacy gift set, okay? This is available until the 31st of October, all right? And our pumpkin spice set is also available until the 31st of October. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna share my screen with you now very quickly, okay? So I'm actually gonna minimize my screen here, okay? And as you can see, we are on the pharmacy website, okay? So bear with me one minute. I'm fix something here. Okay, so this is the new pharmacy website, okay? And every pharmacy representative has their own site. So mine is DFC. So as you can see up here, right? You can see pharmacyus.com forward slash DFC. Some people say backslash. I haven't figured out which one it is. In my opinion, I always say backslash forward is the opposite direction for me, but some people now are saying it's forward slash. It is what it is, okay? So pharmacyus.com forward slash DFC. That's my site, okay? We have a variety of things here, but I'm not gonna discuss everything on this site. There's just one too many things. I'm only gonna focus on three things. The first thing that I focused on was the makeup. The next thing I'm gonna focus on, okay? is our beautiful set. What is the beautiful set? The beautiful set is available, okay, until October 31st, but it may go beyond that. We don't know yet, okay? But I, I thought it was nice, okay? Yes, um, it has, you know, it comes in a box and this box, as you can see over here, and hopefully you can see this, okay? This box known as the beautiful set that you see here, okay, comes with six items. And I didn't order it because I, I celebrate Halloween because I, I don't. Um, but I thought it was so nice, the pumpkin, because it's a pumpkin set. It's a pumpkin spice set. And so I says, you know, let me, let me smell it. I want to smell it. I'm interested in it. Um, and I want to see what comes in it. This is what I want to do. So I'm going to go over the set with you in the end. I'm not going to go over it right now. Right now, I just want to show you how to navigate the site just a little bit, okay? So right now, we're on here. If you want to place an order, okay, and I'm going to use this as an example, just there's a lot to navigate. We'll navigate the site on another day. I'll, I'll do a video on that when I really go through everything. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go through the principal parts. So the principal parts are, this is your catalog right here, okay? This is your catalog. So this is the latest catalog. It just came out last month, okay? And in the catalog, they have a variety of sections, okay? 
in here, you're going to be able to see in order what section is located where, okay? And so you're going to know where to find your primer, where to find your foundation, your keratin therapy section, okay? The Shield Man collection. They have men's fragrances, the nail series. All of these things are here, okay, in this index that you see here. And you can go through page by page by page if you prefer going through the online catalog like that. If you have no desire to go through the catalog like this, okay, and you simply want to go to the sections on the screen, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that, okay? What I will encourage you to do is to look at the catalog because the catalog gives a description. For instance, our matte, okay, VFX lip glosses, okay? The matte lipsticks that you see here by VFX, which I just finished using one of them, which is in that special set that's there, it's not here, okay? They give you the breakdown of what this lipstick consists of. It's dermatologically tested, it's paraben free, it's heavy metal free, it's gluten free. Some people, gluten is not just receptive to food. It's, it's not just that they're allergic to certain foods that have gluten. Some people literally, if their skin touches it, they break out in a gluten reaction. So they're making you know products like that now in the market. It's gluten free, okay? And it's water resistant formula, okay? And the prices are here, okay? And you get to go through each one, then you've got a creamy lipstick. Again, they all have a different um, advisory to it because as you can see here, you've only got four things that it doesn't have where the other one has six things it doesn't have. So they all have different things, okay? And that's what you gotta look for, what's best for you if you want a more intense color and so forth. So all these things are found in here, okay? So when you're looking through the catalog, you can go through it and find a description of everything, okay? So I will encourage you to do that, to take the time to look at the catalog and go through each thing that you may have an interest in. If you don't wanna do the catalog, you have the option to simply look at the tabs, okay? And they will tell you what it is that you want, whether it's a cleanser, whether it's a primer for an eyeshadow, if you want the face and body, the BB and CC creams, the B foundations, okay? So the liquid VX foundation that you saw, okay, is this one. When you see this, this indicates there are multiple colors. And you see that little circle that's there. So if you click on it, you can look at the color display of your choice, okay? And understand something, if you order it and it's the wrong color, you can return it. It's not a big deal. You can give it back and you can exchange it for a different color if it doesn't work well for you, okay? Um, so these are your color options. They have a variety of colors and tones, okay? So that's for the foundation that we just finished using, all right? And then you have your blushes, your bronzers, your powder. Each powder gives a description, okay? So the terracotta porcelain powder that you see here, okay? If you read in the description, it tells you what it contains, what it doesn't contain, okay? And all of that is down here. The catalog, on the other hand, will tell you a little bit more, okay? And that's probably what you wanna do when I go through the catalog. Skincare, okay? So we have a variety of things for skincare and for each one, you can shop by series, okay? So the one I use is the Rose Water Series. That's an older formula, okay? But I love it. I don't have any issue with it. It works for me, okay? This is what I used, a pure rose elixir, okay? And so you would go through each one, okay? So let's say you want to know about the acne regimen. This is a bundle, okay, for the acne. Click on it and you look at it. But if you want to get something individually, you can too. You don't have to get everything combined. You can mix and match whatever works for you, okay? So for the acne, it gives you information on the acne formula. You can click on the YouTube, okay? Or you can email me or message me directly and ask me, listen, is this really good for me? This is my situation. And I can tell you what may be best for you, what might work for you. You can purchase it individually as you see here, okay? You would go with the arrow and click, okay? 
or you can order the whole set if you're confident enough, it's for you, okay? And this is for the acne bundle, okay? This is the age reversist. So the age reversist is our more pricier one, okay? But the age reversist does the job, okay? So you can get it separately, okay? If you click on it, go back from acne, okay? Or you could get it all together and it tells you the whole point of the age reverses products, okay? You can purchase them separately. You don't have to get it in the bundle. This is just the bundle section, okay? So if you want some hydration, then you may want to go for the aqua regimen if you just want that serum and yet you figure, you know, I can also do a little reversal here. I see some fine lines here. So then we'll go for this one, which is a preventative program. It's a preventative treatment, right? If you have very, very dry nose and you know that that's the only area that's super dry, then you're going to want the balsam by calendula. That might work for you better. Okay. So, whatever it is you can do, you don't have to get it all in the bundles. Okay. The bundles are just there for if you want it. And if you shop by concern, you can see it too. It's going to tell you what's good for wrinkle and fine lines, what's good for oiliness, dryness, sensitive skin, dark spots, enlarged pores, and acne prone. And each one gives a description of the ingredients that are in there, okay? It's going to tell you if you read the book, okay, it's going to tell you what is in there. If you have trouble finding what's in there, then let me know. But as you can see, everything is here, okay? It tells you, okay? And it also gives you your warnings, what to use and what not to use while you're on certain uh, products that are here, okay? So you can do that. And if you prefer the samples just to try, then you can try the sample just to see how it works, okay? You can do that here. We have hair care. So what's with the hair care? We've got two types of hair care systems, okay? We have the garlic hair care, okay? Which is good for people that are losing their hair. Um, it strengthens the hair. My phone's ringing, don't mind that. Okay, and then we have those that just want a keratin treatment. If you have very curly hair, um, rough hair, or you struggle with using the brush, then the keratin treatment may be the way to go for you, okay? That may be what you want, okay? If you're interested in getting something that's more ecologically good for the environment, and you're very conscious about that, and you wanna be able to use cleansers that don't have all those tough ingredients in them, then you may want to look at Mr. Wipes. Mr. Wipes has a full line, okay? So they have a fabric refresher, they have fish liquid, they have detergent. I've tried the detergent, it's very good. The small bottle you see here lasts a long time. It goes through measuring, you have to measure a certain amount, mix it with water, okay? And you use that as part of your detergent because it's very concentrated. So it does last a while, okay? So you have a variety of things here. Okay, and then going back to Bath and Body, we also have stuff for children, okay? So they have all of that there. You can look at all of that, okay? Our next step in being able to see this is what I wanted to show you was the men's section for the guys, okay? So we have samples for skincare line. Okay, so if you want samples, you can click on it and check out on the samples. If you're confident and feel like, you know, I just want to try the whole darn thing. I'm not interested in samples. I don't have time for that. Okay, you can get it. Here's your bundle right here, plus the body soap, okay? Um, and then they have a matte hair wax, okay? And shaving foam, all these things, okay? So you're not limited, okay? Men, of course, have, have a limited amount of things comparing to the women. But that's the reality of it. You know, a man's closet in the house is smaller than a woman's closet. That's just the way it is. So we're going to have more products for women than we do have for men. That's the reality. Okay. So again, we're going to go to the skincare. When you shop by series, this is what you're looking for. Okay. And then I just want to click quickly on the infant section. Okay. Baby lotion and baby soap. So when you click on this for the baby soap, it's a cute little bar. It is really cute. It tells you what it has, okay, what it offers. And if you can leave a review, that helps. It helps everybody to see it, um, to know what they like and what they don't like, what you think works and doesn't work. And again, these are things you can return. You're not going to have an issue with it. Okay. 
So now let's go quickly to the nutrition section. And I wanna show you what we have right now, okay? So this is called NutriPlus Grain Coffee, okay? And this is NutriPlus Chicory Coffee. So I have the bags right here. I'm hoping you can see it, okay? Can't tell if you could see it or not. Let me look at my video, fun. Yeah, so there it is. There's the NutriBrain right there, okay? So that's what it looks like. Okay, and then this one is the chicory coffee. Okay, so what does this do? Both of these coffees are unique. Okay, if you're a coffee addict and you're really trying to cut down, and I recommend you do, if you drink more than three cups a day, you got a habit, you got a problem. You're gonna have to find a way to get off of it because what happens is coffee only gives you but a certain amount of caffeine, especially if you're not drinking an organic type of coffee. It's almost useless. It's it's more damaging to the body than anything else. So pharmacy has NutriPlus chicory coffee. Okay, and this chicory coffee, it's twenty two dollars per packet. Okay, and it has forty percent instant coffee and 60% chicory, okay? And it's made with magnesium and zinc and vitamin C and D, okay? This is very, very good um, for two reasons. Number one, it's good to control appetite, the chicory, okay? Number two, the chicory is also good to control your sugars, okay? And I've used it, I like it. I can tell you from having used it, that it is true, okay? Number one, you have an insane amount of energy when you drink it. Number two, um, it does help with your sugars. Sometimes I just want a late night snack and, you know, we're land. We like to have coffee and cookies, it works, you know? But um, you can't always have that. So sometimes I'll opt for the chicory coffee. You have to learn how to have a taste for it. You have to know how to use it Okay, so it can work for you. It is not Bustelo. Please do not think that that's what you're getting. You're not getting that. Okay, so you're going to have to work with it or it's not going to work for you. All right, so we have a lot of videos on how to make this type of chicory coffee. It's simple. It's like making instant coffee, but you got to know how to play with it to give it that flavor. Okay, so I add monk fruit sweetener. I don't use regular sugar um, and I use organic creamer in it and I add cinnamon and I add something that's called chocolate by Your Super. So Your Super is a, a protein company that they create all these protein um, shakes and I just add a little hint of that type of chocolate okay, to give my coffee a kick so it can work for me. And you can have it as a frappe. We have a page that shows you how to have it. My page shows you how to do it. So you can do it like that. If you like those cold coffee drinks, it works well, how to do a mocha frappe. So this will work for you. It gives you a crazy amount of energy, okay? The instructions, you know, tell you to use two tablespoons as per the instructions, I will beg you, do not use two tablespoons. Do not. Two tablespoons is good if you want to be like the energizer button. If you want to be wired, go for it. Use the two tablespoons, okay? But for me, I find it to be too strong. It's like you're on the go. So I use two teaspoons, right? Maybe a little bit over two teaspoons, depends and you add your water and then you add your oat milk or your regular milk buffered. You can do it however you wanna do it, but do not use two tablespoons unless you wanna compete with that energizer bunny, okay? Now, what's the difference between the chicory and the grain? The grain has the reverse, okay? Same price, it's nothing different, okay? The grain, okay, has a lower form of caffeine, okay? It has minerals and carbohydrate nutrients. It has vitamins E and B1. It does support hunger control and it helps to reduce the glucose as well. So the energy in it, okay, has a lower form of caffeine, okay? Instinct coffee is the same, but it's made with barley powder and rye powder, okay? Barley is essential for the body. This is what you like. Your body needs those types of grains. Okay, so again, you can do it in the same way. It has a different taste, not, not that different, but I can tell the difference, okay? 
um, but it works favorably. Now, what is the deal here? And I believe this is going to last until October 31st or until it runs out. The deal right now is the coffee bundle, okay? This coffee bundle, essentially you're getting three for the price of two. That's really what it is, okay? So you're paying $50 for three instead of paying $22 each pack. I would take advantage of this if you want to, okay? And go for the bundle. Again, if it doesn't work for you, you can return it, okay? I don't know how long this offer is gonna last. It could last beyond the 31st, it could be less, I don't know, okay? But let's say for argument's sake, you say, you know, I, I, I wanna go shopping now. Now I know what I want, now I know what I need. All right, so I'm gonna add to the cart. I already know what I want as far as skincare is concerned. I think I, I just wanna stick to, to uh, the basics. I just need a serum and I just wanna try some samples, let's say, and I'm just putting it on there just to put it on there. And I need something for the night. I need a nighttime mask, okay? So you're gonna put this on here, okay? You wanna hydrate your skin during the day, so let's do that. All right, so we've got three items and it tells you what's been added, okay? So we're gonna look at the card. The card is up here. By the way, if you only speak Spanish and your English is not that great, you can select the language and everything will appear in Spanish. Okay, so let's do that quickly so we can see. Okay, there you go. You have it up here, okay? And it tells you what's on here, the catalog you can also look at, okay? and everything else remains as is, okay? But it helps you if you do it in Spanish for checkout and things like that, everything will be in Spanish, okay? So let's go quickly. So my website is bilingual, I'm bilingual, okay? Si acaso que te interesa hacer una orden, ya sabe cómo llegar y cómo hacer, okay? So let's continue. Let's say this is what you want. I'm gonna continue, okay? And what's gonna happen here is we're gonna create an account. I'm, I'm gonna create a, a, a fake account. You have to create an account upon checkout, okay? This is what you have to do. Now, when you create the account, you've got two choices. You can become a beauty influencer, okay? And if you become a beauty influencer, to join pharmacy is $20, only one time. Okay, and you will get your products at 50% off. Okay, and you will become part of a team that's going to help you grow your business if you decide to go into that business venture. Okay, if that's what you want to do. So it is work for you to do. If you work from home and you feel this is the best thing for you to do, you, you're trying to do something, then this may be the way for you to go as a beauty influencer. Okay, and, and you will get the appropriate training that you need. Okay, the other option is to continue as a customer. All right, so if you go in as a beauty influencer, when you reach that area, it's gonna give you multiple options. One of the options is to join, okay, for $20. The other option is to get the most products that you think you will need at a discounted price. It's a starter packet, okay? And these products are not offered again after the fact of that starter price. So again, this is a choice you have and you would just follow what it tells you to do. So let's continue as a customer, okay? Go quickly. Put your name. So let's do Jennifer. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to make this up as I go along. X Y Z two three two. Okay. Hopefully nobody has that address. Can you imagine? Okay. Right. And again, I'm just making this up. So you can see how I do it, okay? All right, so then I gotta take that, let's see that, let me try something else. Which makes sense, 23, 25. So, yeah. So one of the things that's gonna happen is you put your date of birth, hold on, let's say 06, 26. Hopefully that works. Oh, they need me to do it the other way. Okay. Then you're gonna put your address. You fill everything in, okay? 
So you would fill all that information in. And I don't want to do that because you imagine that is somebody's date of birth or that is somebody's email address. I don't want to have problems with that. So down here, you're going to see the sponsor's name, and that's going to be mine, okay? Or you can put the sponsor's code. Always make sure you're on my information here if you're going to be under my team. So make sure it has the DFC, okay? You have to make sure of that. Then when you uh, click and you agree to pharmacy's terms of use, and you click on create, it creates the account. Okay, from there, you will go into the area to check out. Okay, and that's the option you have to go from there. So this is really it. All right, this is really it as far as the website is concerned, as far as what to do with the website, you already know the language, you can change the language, right. And so Let's go to what we were talking about before. This is only until the end of October. This is for this portion. For every $50 you spend, you get one beautiful face mask for free, the pumpkin face mask. So for every 50 you spend, this is what you're gonna get as a gift, okay? Now, the set itself, because the beautiful set itself, I don't know if it is going to be only until the end, they might extend it to a little bit more. And it's not that they're not going to extend the product itself. It's the price, okay? You're getting this for $39.90, okay? So you're getting one, two, three, four, five items for $39.90, all right? So this is something that you're going to want to look into, all right, as soon as possible. So that means you have until the 31st at midnight, literally to place that order. And that's what you're gonna do. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. Let's look at what's inside the box. Let's see. I actually like it. I tried it. I think it's great. Um, and it smells so good. Listen, don't take it personal. If you don't celebrate Halloween and you're going, oh my God, the box is Halloween. It's not. Disregard the features on the box. Okay, and just focus on the product itself. And that's what I've done. It's not a big deal for me. It's not something that, you know, we celebrate, but I love it. Why not? I love the product. And that's what I'm looking at, you know? So I got to tell you, it comes with a body scrub as you see there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And it actually comes not with five. It actually comes with six items. It's not five, it's six. So you have the pumpkin scrub right there, okay? And I'm gonna tell you something about these scrubs. They're not like every other scrub that you get. I'm talking about, you know, this kind of scrub. I'm not referring to the song by TLC. So these scrubs are very different than the scrubs you find in the beauty shops that I've been into, that, you know, your local pharmacy carries, where it has that sugary feeling, that, that rough sugary sloth feeling. This doesn't have that. It has an intense moisture to it, okay? And that's what you want, that's the whole point of it, okay? And it doesn't have that rough sugary feel to it. It feels very, very different. I highly recommend it, okay, if you like it, if it's the kind of thing that works for you. And then you have the face mask, okay? You see the pumpkin face mask? It feels really good, it really does. You know, I liked it, I enjoyed it. Um, and it's the kind of thing, if your skin feels overly dry, because it happens, you know, humidity in your home differs, everything differs. You could be having a bad day, your hormones could be out of control, instead of your skin feels like it's going to crack. That's a really good thing to use. It felt really good and it had that nice smell to it. You can start baking your pumpkin pie too after that. You have your body wash, okay? And this is what it looks like. And it's the cutest thing, okay? Very convenient and it feels good. But I gotta tell you, the scrub combined with the body wash really does it. You don't need a moisturizer after that, in my opinion, but it depends on your skin. I have combination skin. So my body isn't really as dry, okay? I tend to have a more softer tone on my skin um, and it's not excessively dry. I don't suffer from that excessive dry skin. So you can use your scrub. After you're done with your scrub, you would use your body lotion and it feels really good. It does. Um, and then you've got a body mist. 
and it doesn't smell bad. It's not overly powering. It, it has a very light smell to it, okay? If you like that cinnamon smell, it works good. And then you get to walk away with your hand lotion. Now, this is good stuff, honestly, it really is. Um, it's potent. What do I mean by that? It's not a light lotion where you put it on and like within a half an hour, you're like, shoot, I didn't even moisturize my hands because it doesn't feel like that. No, this really does it. It adds that moisture, it binds it. So it feels really good for me. I like it, but everyone has a different taste. So again, this is only available until October 31st. We don't know if they're going to extend it. If you are in the New York City area, I have one box left. You won't have to order through the site. I have one box left. You would have to come to pick it up. Okay, um, and I can do that for you, but I do have one box left at home, okay? And it's something that you can use um, for anything else and everyone else, you would have to order again through the site directly. And I can recommend that for you. So it is pharmacyusa.com forward slash DFC. And let's check that just to be sure. Hold on. Pharmacyus.com forward slash DFC. This is another thing that we have, okay, that is available. And it comes with this pouch. You come, uh, it comes with the, uh, the VFX lip liner and lip gloss. Okay, limitless eye mascara if you like it. And it also comes with a palette. So if you're interested in this type of bundle, you're welcome to help yourself to that, okay? Everything else is here. If you love dealing with your eyebrows and waxing and shaping and all those other things, that's, that's what you like to do, then you're gonna wanna look at the pharmacy brow box, okay? Um, so again, this is going to conclude our video, all right? And you have until October 31st at midnight to place those orders, okay, for the Haunting Beauty. Okay, that pharmacy gift set that comes with that eyeshadow palette and the matte lipstick and lip gloss. Okay, and the beautiful set, which I just finished showing you, you have until the 31st for that. We don't know if it's going to be extended or not. It might. If anything changes, then when you go on the site, you'll see it um, and it'll tell you. But for right now, that's what we have. If you need a physical catalog, I do have some physical catalogs available. Okay. And you are welcome to be able to um, place an order for that and I'll happily send it to you. I recommend you go through each, um, each area on the site, okay? Because there's something for somebody, for every kind of skincare problem that can exist, okay? It is there. Um, what I love about it is the fact that you have the option to have samples too, in case you're not sure. So if you want samples instead, because you're not sure, Go for the samples, I recommend it. So this is gonna conclude our video, we are done. Um, I hope you learned something, right? And I hope that this was very informative for you. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed being able to do it um, and share the video with others, you know, and go on to our site. You can also find me on Facebook, right? So let's see where, um, we can go on Facebook. Let's do this here. So, Facebook. Okay. let's see. Here we go. One minute. Ah, okay. We'll go quickly into my site. Hopefully, it all done. Facebook.com and then forward slash. It open up to my, let's see. Let's go quickly. May not open up there. All right, so let's go here. Yep, here we go. So this is it. All right, so it's pharmacy DFC. Okay, health and beauty. And I, I don't post every day, so I don't do that, okay? But I do post on occasion, I'd say weekly, 
okay, and I post new things, and you'll be able to find a lot of different things on here, okay, concerning pharmacy, what's available, what's not available, all right, and you can get as much information as possible, and the website's on there, so if you forget, you scroll down, you're going to see the website, all right, so take care, okay, thank you for joining me, I hope you enjoyed this video, have a safe weekend, and if you have any questions, you can contact me through Pharmacy directly. All right, my name is Diana, and you have yourself a great day.